Hello, who is this? Hey, Kyle, babe, what's up? Lisa, it's just you, babe. Oh. Yeah, I can't wait to go to the movies. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Can't wait to see Countdown with you. It's gonna be a lot of fun, babe. Yeah, I just got the tickets. I just did some research and I just got the tickets earlier today. So I'll meet you around 7.30. Alright, cool. Oh, Lisa, you scared the shit out of me. Another more of you. Come on, let's go see the movie. Hey, what's up? Kaya again. I'm here with my wonderful, beautiful girlfriend Lisa here again. Mm -hmm. XX with the star XX. Hey guys. Um, I I know that was I was a weird I was I know I was doing that 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 intro with the countdown because we just got uh, seeing countdown. Literally. Literally. Um, the new horror film, and uh, I hope you like our little intro in the beginning of the of the of this uh, review. A little, we still we thought I had an idea, so I wanted to to, to do it, you know. And um, it was at, done at Lisa's house. Yep, my this, house this time. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to change the the the, the scenery. Yeah. And I and I, it made you know I did it's it's me at Lisa's house. <laughs> you know I usually do it at my house, you know, because it's more is you know it's, you know try explain. Basically, we do most of the intros at his house. But we just wanted to change up things a little. Yeah, because you know because it's supposed to be like my, done at my house. Like originally we were gonna do it at my house. But we just wanted to get it done with, so we did it at my house. And we did it. We did my house, my house. Yeah, and her and the lighting was very good, and, yeah. I, and I thought it was really great. We both did a great job. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good, good teamwork. I hope you liked that little intro. It was a short little intro. Yeah, nothing and, too big. Yeah, but anyway, though, guys, we just got to see Countdown, um, new horror film, and what'd you think of it? I have to say, this is actually really. It was actually really scary. It was creepy. It, it was, was really creepy. creepy. Wasn't the scare? Wasn't the like the most scariest horror film I've seen? That winner goes to between two movies: "Scariest Story to Tell in the Dark" or "It Chapter 2. No, "Scariest Stories to Tell in the Dark" was a little, little scarier, I think. I'm just saying that either it either goes between two. And what's the other one? "It Chapter Two. "It Chapter Two is a little scarier too. Yeah, I mean, I think those two are the winners of the scariest movie of and the year. And in the first, it to the, the "It Chapter One" was scary. "It Chapter Two. "It, it Chapter One" came out in 2017, though. It Chapter 2 came out. I mean, oh, never mind. Well, It, it Chapter 1 came out in 2017. It Chapter 2 came out just this last year. year. Yeah. Those were great. We did a review for that, too. Mm -hmm. 
and um, there's a yeah, this one was real, this one was pretty scary, not the scariest I would say, but I mean, it has a lot of jump scares. There's a lot of jump scares, you know. The, the only thing I can I only can, my only complaint is just there's there's good there's there's some good there's some good effects. But some of the lighting was just a little off. Yeah. It just was too dark in some scenes. Like, too, it was too dark. Like, you couldn't see the face, like, the, 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 the demon's face or the devil's face in some scenes. And then at the very end, you see, like, well, I don't want to give anything away. Don't give anything away. You, you, but you see it, like, you know, so, at some points, and then you see stuff at some points, and there's stuff you don't see at some points. Like, you know, I just think they could have done a little more, yeah, you know, with the, the, with the, with the demons it's... and the monsters mm. and the devil and, the, and it. I don't know if it's our theater or is the, or is the camera being off. I think it was the cap, it was the cap, their camera that they used. That yeah, they, that they shot I know that too, because I'm, I'm sure every theater is going gonna, is gonna to get complaints about this too. Yeah, it's but not it's just, just I, don't the, think it's the I think it's the lighting spots. of the movie, of the yeah. production. Mm -hmm. Because some movies I've seen where they have bad lighting. You know. Oh, yeah. But anyways, uh, it was a great movie. Uh, overall, very great movie. And uh, why don't you explain what it's about? Basically. It's a pretty simple plot. Yeah, it's about a phone app that kills people. A phone app that kills people. You get this app. And um, this woman gets this app. What's her name? Gwen? Quinn. Quinn. I don't know the actress that plays her, though. Yeah. But um, she gets this phone app. And... Why are you explaining it? Basically, here? a woman named Quinn, again, uh, I don't know who the actress is, she gets this app called Countdown, Countdown. literally, from a patient well, who okay. actually. And she's a nurse. And she's a nurse, too. And, and then. She works in a hospital. Is mm -hmm. she a nurse or. Nurse. Or, yeah. And then they, um, the patient who works with her actually tells about the app first because I think, like, one of his girlfriends or something from the beginning of the movie actually dies in a car crash. And yeah. So then. He's like, oh, I don't think this is real, but then he has to get in the app himself because he was curious. Yeah. And then he's another victim, and then we got other victims in this movie too. But we we want to give anything it's away. It's sort of like a Final Destination kind kind of like movie. That's what slash, to too. slash the ring because it's like seven days you'll die you'll die in seven days. Actually, in minutes in this case. Except in minutes this time, like you know, like it's in minutes. You know what I'm trying to say? It's, yeah, it's like yeah. A, it's like a ring slash. Uh, Final Destination kind of thing and also has a little bit of like there was another movie I thought of that it reminded me of um what's that other movie um I can't think of it right now they'll come later like those like the maybe it was the scary stories to tell in the dark I yeah a little bit a little bit it had a lot of vibes had a lot of vibes to this movie like mm. a lot of like you know movie horror movie vibes like the way it, like like the concepts oh the yeah concept but um so you, you get the app and you and, and like you can't delete it and stuff. Mm -hmm. you, and it's like you know you, he she goes to the to the to the phone to to uh, to, to some like phone company. The phone company and and like to, and they say you can and like he she tries to like get hack into the hack, hack into the, to the thing and then doesn't work. Yeah, and he doesn't work and she tries to and they say I'm gonna live with I'm gonna live much more, th much, uh, not, uh, not, much more longer. Much more longer, but they, then they and then it goes down and down and like. Like keeps going down and down, and the people keep dying, and and the bodies keep ra ra racking, and then some behind, and then you find out, and then there's some behind the whole thing, but we don't want to spoil it. We don't want to give anything away. Yeah, but um, it's really fun movie, and um, actually Edward, Co someone from uh, Twilight is in this movie. Boo, Twilight! I like Twilight movies. Boo. There's I'm someone sorry. from Twilight in these movies. <laughs> sorry, I'm not talking about the Twilight movies. Yeah, and the, the I forget what his name is. The guy from Twilight, he's in this. He played a great. He did a great job. And mm -hmm. um, there's uh, there's this the guy from uh, Sex Drive. Sex. Well, uh, from the, uh, plays Axel in the middle. Oh That's yeah. That's what he's most known for. He's mm -hmm. and he's in Sex Drive. He played that the 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 funny the funny kind of guy. Yeah. I forget, I forget what he. I forget what his, his uh, the actor's name is, but there's a lot of familiar faces I've seen in this movie. If you put them out in the comments, just let us know. Yeah, if you yeah, let us know. But um, it's scary, not really gory, just more of a the scary, fun, tw like scary side, like more jump scare. I think it's the same people who did Happy Death Day, so I kind of got those like. Fun scare vibes. Yeah, Happy Death Day. Yeah, that's what I, it is. I think it's the same people, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Because it kind of, again, 
the similar. It's kind. Of, I saw the similar like camera angles. Yeah. And um, again, I think it's the same people, but I'm not completely sure. It, I think it is the same people that did Happy Death Day and Get Out and all. Yeah, those yeah, movies. it was the same person doing. It was the same people to Get Out. Yeah, and, and it kind of reminded me of Insidious a little bit too. It had yeah. a guy kind of vibe, but a like, modern version, I guess. Mo- yeah. But um, and lights out too. We just saw lights out recently at our friend's house, mm-hmm. and she and that was really that was really good. But um, anyways, this movie countdown was very scary. Was pretty scary. Not the scariest thing I've seen, but um, mm-hmm. anyways, let's get down to the rating ratings. What would you give this movie a rating as? I think, but I guess the stars. I mean, I would I would say ten out of ten, but I think I agree with this guy. I got I agree with um, him that um, this the, guy who am I? Kyle, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I agree with him that um, the lighting was a bit off. So I'm gonna give it like a nine nine or eight out of ten. I'll just give it a nine out of ten because the scares are really good. Yeah, like the I, jump scares are excellent. I give it like maybe it's good. To, it's hard to say, like maybe like a yeah, like a nine, a, nine, a, nine, nine point ten, nine, nine out of ten. Because it's like a solid nine out of ten. Yeah, because again, like, I don't think any horror movie did this before, so this is actually original. Yeah, it is original. I went. It's not a full ten because it's not fully. The, I, I didn't get the full experience, you know. I didn't get fully like you know, it's scared, and I didn't get the fully. I, it wasn't perfect. But again, the lighting. Yeah, the lighting and just it just wasn't the best movie, but it's worth checking out, and I did like it. And we I did, did like it too. How there was a plot twist and everything, and mm-hmm. how everything that was, was going. I, the plot twist was really cool. Yeah, but it's definitely worth checking out if you love if you love uh, fun horror movies, fun, fun, like fun horror movies where you where you, you don't have much time to live, and um, definitely check it out. I really highly recommend this one. But um, it's it's around, not, it means around Halloween. So. Halloween, yeah, a lot of Halloween movies are coming out. Halloween's coming soon. Um, I'll, I'm, I want maybe I'll do a Halloween video. I'm not sure. It, I, if, I don't know what I'm doing for Halloween this year. But maybe, do you know what you're doing? I'm actually not gonna do anything for Halloween really. I'm just like going to my doing my regular routine, going to the gym and see my dietitian really. <laughs> That's what you do for Halloween. I mean, I'm doing it for this year technically because uh, my dietitian's going to. We just Italy. went to a Halloween party. That, that was really yeah, fun, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had this Halloween party. I dressed up as Ghostface from Scream, and I dressed stuff. up as a lot of Stranger Things. Yeah. But anyway, though, guys, uh, hope you enjoy this. Uh, so, uh, what were you saying? Nine, nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Definitely go see, check check it out. But it's not the not the greatest thing. Don't go in there saying, "Oh, it's the it's going to be the the scariest movie of the year." The scariest movie of the year because th- there's a lot of scary movies that came out this year, like f- like like scary stories to tell in the dark, it chapter two, mm-hmm. and uh, what other things that we've seen that were actually really be- that were better than this. Joker. And that's not really a horror film, but it was a little but it was scarier than this actually. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot better movies and a lot be- like better comedies and a lot of better movies. It's in general, like Jane Samba reboot. We that's, saw that. That's yeah. not a horror film. I'm saying that that's a better movie. Yeah. But there's a lot of better stuff. You know, a lot of better stuff than this one. But this is a good movie. It's worth checking out and give it give it a chance. Yeah, Just give I mean, it a chance. It's really underappreciated. It's really underappreciated. Yeah, it's not low budget, but it's really underappreciated. Yeah, mm-hmm. go check out Countdown. Anyway, though, guys, hope we just movie that we did. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Please rate, subscribe. And uh, thanks a lot for watching, for subscribing. Check out my girlfriend Lisa on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and Tumblr. Follow her on, fa- on fa- Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And, and um, subscribe to her. And check her out on our MeWe. And subscribe to her, XX Mental Star XX on YouTube. Yep. And s- check her out on our MeWe. New South Park review this Wednesday, guys. Is it, yeah, this Wednesday, yeah. And, um... Th- thanks a lot for watching, for subscribing, and I'll see y'all next, next time. time. All, right. All right. Peace. I'm counting down. When I'm counting down. I'm counting down. When's this video gonna end? <laughs> counting down. I'm, I'm just kidding. All right. Good night, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>